Hi everyone and welcome to my very first video. I, I, I don't have any professional things now. Uh, my, my equipment is a candle, a metal box uh, where, where my telephone is resting on and that's all what I'm using. So I hope it's still okay. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can understand me and see me okay. So, um, Sam, I saw you um, going around with the devices that you are using on a daily basis. And I thought some time ago when you, you did something like that uh, already, I, I thought, oh, I should do that as well. And I didn't. So this time I thought, all right, I have to, to take the chance and do it. So here I am, uh, as, as good as I can do it, um, trying to, to let you see what I'm doing. So just a few words about my vision so you can give a little bit of a context. I can see 5% of what normally people can. That's, that's what the, at least the doctors uh, ended up saying here in, in, uh, in Europe. They say something like percentage or what. I don't know exactly how which other systems there are. Um, so that's, yeah, that's it. Uh, I have a jittering thing, so my eye is unstable and I cannot control it. Um, so it's, I don't, I don't notice it so much because our brain is, is compensating and, uh, and uh, helping out very much uh, processing the signal in a way that you can basically not even notice until you don't focus on that that your eyes is like blah, 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 they are not, not stable. But yeah, and then there, there is a, also a distortion of the vision that I think is called myopia or my, I, I don't know in English how it's called, I'm not sure. Um, that means that I could correct that with some lenses, very heavy, big glasses. The problem is that then the image gets smaller. And for me, seeing so, so bad like I do, uh, instead of being an advantage, it's a disadvantage. That's that's not helping me because yes, I can see that things are sharper, but they get they get smaller, so I cannot see enough, even less than what I can now. So that's not a go for me. Right. So um, the very first thing I would like to show you is this. This is a monocular made uh, by Minox. That's a German company, and they are known for cameras as well. They were known. I don't know what some. I don't know so much what I what they are doing now, but uh, that's my daily driver. That's the life changer for me. Um, I discovered this when I was twenty two something. So that means that uh, roughly half of my life I had to struggle without this. Um, and I will be, uh, I will go into details uh, about why this is changing my life so much. Uh, so the first thing is that it has a short focus. It's, it, the focus can be as short as 33 centimeters or 33 inches or one foot, I think, if I'm not wrong. Um, that means that I can hold the monocular with one hand and uh, having something in my other hand and I can read, I can see things so that the distance is short enough for you to, to manage to handle both things. Uh, we have unfortunately just two hands so that means that when you did that then you don't have anything <laughs> left. Um, you, cannot, you cannot do as, uh, as good as if you had your normal vision in both hands of course in many cases that can be a problem but let's say also adjusting the focus you need uh, the other hand so most of the time you just have to put down the thing adjust the focus put it up again or just go to fixed focus and then adjust the distance so you get used to that I got very very fast at that uh, so I don't even think about that anymore it's just an extension of my body now so that's not not a problem at all but yeah well at the beginning it can can be a little bit tough you have to be to get used um, the second thing that is very peculiar of this particular monocular is that it has two mirrors inside, so it's a reflector monocular. It means that the light goes inside from here into a Z path and then out here. So basically that means that it is three times shorter than 
than what a regular normal monocular would be. And uh, that's not a detail. I'm looking there because I was like, trying to find another monocular. I compare the distance. You see it's really, really different, you know. Um, and it can stay inside your hand, basically. You can, you can hold it. it. You can almost hide it inside your hand. And uh, it's still big and bulky, but uh, this you cannot hide it so much. You, can, you cannot do so much with that. So yeah, that, uh, those are the two advantages of this. Uh, a very flexible short focus. Oh, I forgot to say 10 times uh, magnifying capability. And that's where this thing helps me because my vision is so bad that uh, any loops magnifiers would not be strong enough for me. Or the distance that uh, I had to, to, I have to be between uh, me and what I'm looking is it, it would would become so short that really you have stuck things on your eyes to see them, and uh, I mentioned that because as I said already, my first part of life, including all the school time, I had a pair of glasses with a loop mounted on them, and I basically have to smell the school desk all the time and I must say sometimes it was not a wonderful experience <laughs> and you had the pen or the pencil on the way all the time and you have your back bended all the time that was and your neck uh, I don't know if it is be because of that that today I have problems with my neck and my back I guess so because uh, yes when you when you just uh, study hours and hours bend it on the desk like that that was not funny at all so Unfortunately, I didn't discover such thing. Oh, don't, not to mention the blackboard uh, in the old times. Uh, I couldn't see the blackboard. So uh, I couldn't take notes. Uh, all maths and physics and chemi chemistry and all the stuff that needs some formulas and some writings on the blackboard, that was a nightmare for me. I had a helping teacher uh, right beside me taking notes for me, but you know, one thing is take note yourself, another one is reading what another one wrote. It never worked really 100%. I did my, my studies, I did them pretty well, but ugh, don't let me think about that. So I mentioned the second um, big monocular, the second beast here. Uh, oh, by the way, both, both monoculars, they have uh, tripod mounting possibilities, so standard. Um, camera thing so you can put them on a tripod if you want right so this one has a 10 to 25 times magnifying capabilities that is um, adjustable through this knob here so you can zoom in and zoom out that's great that's the first great thing of this then you have your focus adjustment here and uh, you can focus Thing with this big be this big beast here uh, 20 inches far from you so that means roughly 50 centimeters something like that um, it's not as comfortable as the small one um, but still if I extend my arm almost all the way I can focus so I mean, basically it means that I can still have this monocular on my hand and what I'm trying to look at on, in my other hand and I can do that. So that's the second and only, these two devices are the two things that I found until now that can focus things uh, in a short, short distance. There is a third one, I will show you that too. That's also very, very interesting, uh, and that's all. I don't, I don't, I'm not aware of anything else that is so flexible. There are a tons and tons of monoculars outside there, out there, but uh, none, nothing is pos is capable of having such a flexibility into into focus regulation. Most of them they start from three meters or one and a half meter, but that's too much for us. That's not that's that's a different story. That's okay for concert theater or uh, cinema or what? Well, cinema not so much because the field is a problem. You still have to go around the, the screen all the time, and you will not enjoy. I cannot that. I prefer to see 
things as good as I can anyways. The experience is really amputated. It's, 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 not, it's nothing, nothing uh, enjoyable really, but better than to have, ha having to, to, to go around with the monocular, uh, trying to catch all the details in the screen. That's, that's not funny either. Right, so that's another uh, very helpful device for me. I don't use it roughly as much as this. This I'm using really on in such a, an amount of situations that I could even not describe uh, with dust, with hot and cold weather, with dirty hands, with whatever really mechanical stuff, insects on in the garden, uh, uh, planes passing through, I don't know, you, you name it, whatever you want to look at, you can kind of have an advantage using this thing. That means, of course, that I have one living inside my bag uh, in a stable way all the time with me uh, when I'm on the go. And um, otherwise I have at home other two or three of them laying around. You are probably also familiar with the fact that it's pretty common for visually impaired to, uh, to, to forget where you put stuff and you cannot see them anymore and you are going around like a stupid trying to find where you put them. <laughs> okay, that maybe have has something to do with the fact that uh, I sometimes forget myself where I put stuff, but also because, of course, if you don't see things, you are struggling around and, and trying to find, find them. So not bad idea to have some of them around, for me at least. And uh, when I'm men mentioning that, so I'm touching another point that is money. Yes, because the original Minux thing, um, German produced, they were expensive. They were something like 300 euros or 350 dollars or something like that. It was pretty expensive. Uh, but un unfortunately for them or fortunately for us, this exists also as a China clone thing. You can find it in the Chinese market for $30. So the quality, all right, the quality is not as good as the original one. You can, yes, you can see that the rubber thing is getting sticky with the time, getting bigger and detaching from the structure. It doesn't smell maybe fantastic <laughs> either. Uh, all of you that are familiar with Chinese products, they, you, you know perfectly what I'm talking about, right? The lenses probably are also not super good. The focus ring has a mat, um, sorry, a, a plastic gear inside, little gear uh, that is at certain point failing. It's not working anymore. Your focus is not adjustable anymore. But way after some years, we are talking about some. This thing is is under such a such a how to say a. a, a, a I'm using this so much that I cannot. Uh, I'm sure that they are they are not even expecting a fraction of of what I'm doing with this. So it's still doing very very well compared with what I'm doing with this. So that's that's still okay. Um, this also is a Chinese, totally Chinese cologne thing. Uh, so I think it costs a bit more, but still in the range of 40 something dollars. So that's definitely worth the money and the investment, even if you are not totally sure if you can use it or not. And then as soon as you find out if it's something for you, then you, you can have a very good friend on your side. Uh, the second category of devices uh, is the digital magnifiers. This is an, an old one, bulky, uh, 12, 13 years old, still, still working. It's running on uh, two AA batteries. I'm using now rechargeable batteries. Uh, as I mentioned, it's still, uh, still doing its job, as you can see and hear. Uh, so, LEDs on the back, pretty bright, sorry if I blinded you. Um, you can put it on a surface, on a paper, on a, whatever you are reading and uh, it will keep the distance for you so you can, you can uh, just slide this thing around and read and that's, that's okay. Um, 
little screen, just three point something inches. Uh, you cannot adjust the zoom. You can, I mean, the magnif magnifying capability is what it is. You can adjust some color thing. You can invert, sorry, you can invert the, the colors, put blue on yellow, yellow on blue or, or other things if it helps. Um, it was very, very expensive. I think it was over two thousand dollars. This thing in the in in his in its origin original uh, version. So I, but we are talking about many years ago. That's the Chinese answer. Today you can buy this for one hundred and something dollars. Um, adjustable zoom up to forty times. So that's pretty pretty astonishing. Uh, even too much. Sometimes it's so big that you cannot even use it. Um, lithium battery. It's. Uh, I would say it looks to me very, very similar to any Samsung. It's not written anything about the model, of course, but <laughs> it looks to me very, very close to a Samsung battery. Um, double camera setup. So you have two cameras. You have you have a long range camera where you can zoom up to forty times on something that is far away from you and it's doing pretty good, I must say. Uh, I don't have really idea what you can ever see, but yes, it's working pretty well. And then with uh, just a press of this button here, you activate the second camera with the LEDs underneath again sorry if I'm blinding you totally and um, this is giving the capability to read something very close you can see that you have four plastic feet under it so it is keeping the proper distance from the page you are looking at uh, you can slide this thing around again like the other one it's it's coming also with a handle, but I don't use it. I don't like that, so I just put it away. But you can you can put it there. And um, oh, by the way, I forgot USB headphone jack uh, for MP3. You can even listen to some music and HDMI output, so you can connect it to a big screen if you want. Um, and SD card slot, so you can even take pictures and uh, save uh, save them inside the. The, the, the card for later use. So that is a pretty much flexible machine. Uh, disadvantages, well, um, the three megapixel resolution that they say it has, uh, it's it's a Chinese statement. So I'm not sure. Probably it's not. Definitely not three megapixel. If you zoom in all the way, you can see the pixels. So that's not the best quality ever. But for the price. It's not bad, and it's giving a good result uh, on the on the near and on the far thing. So that's that's pretty good. Um, again, worth worth the money for for even for experiments, even if you are not sure, because you cannot find anything as uh, as good as this for that price for sure. Uh, the third category is uh, something I will not show you now because I have them down down there. I can do it uh, if, if necessary. A CCTV I have is also as old as the this old portable thing, so it means some 13 years ago, 12, something like that. It's uh, already a full HD, but uh, it uses DVI connection, not HDMI. So it's it's kind of a, a previous generation thing. It's connected to a bulky, uh, but pretty good quality HP screen, 22 inches thing, I think it is. Uh, autofocus and variable zoom, yes, adjustable zoom, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. I have it on my little lab table where I, I'm trying recently, I um, started uh, soldering stuff and trying to repair stuff. Um, and with that thing, with that CCTV camera, I must say I can do something I even thought I couldn't ever at all. So that's that's pretty good. I'm not using it as as much as the portable things and nothing as much as this that I said already. It's it's with me all the time, everywhere. 
but it's also a very good possibility. The last thing I will mention is my telephone that is now shooting the video, so I cannot show it. It's a, it doesn't even matter so much what telephone it is, because most of the telephones today can do that. I just say that it's a, a Xiaomi a Redmi Note 3. Um, it has a two decent cameras on the back and uh, one selfie camera on the front. That is the camera I'm using now. For the video, it has a pretty decent sound quality as well, as I hope you can evaluate. So that's that's a thumb up for that as well. Um, the good thing with the with my telephone is that it's the screen is bigger than this. This is a five inch. Uh, my telephone is I think it's roughly 5.8, so it's a bit bigger. It's of course thinner. It has less bezel. So yeah, that's. That's amazing. Uh, from the point of view of magnification capabilities, if I use the Android accessibility magnification on top of the camera app, so I zoom in as much as I can with the, I'm using the open camera that has a bigger uh, power, magnifi magnifying power than the, the original uh, camera has. And then on top of it, I. I enlarge it with the three times taps thing, Android standard thing. Uh, I can still have a resolution enough to see things. It's yes, you can start to see pixels, but it's not as bad as this magnifying. It's better. So I can see a bus part far away. I can still, still read a number. Uh, so that's pretty amazing what it can do. Of course, a telephone has a camera setup that is not meant to, uh, to work on such short distances as a magnifier is. So you cannot put your telephone as near to a page as you can with this thing. And the other thing is that, yes, you can uh, zoom in and find a focus balance, but you are floating on the air. You have to keep the distance from the page and that can be a little bit annoying because, uh, well, you are going around for, for a very, very short thing. If you have just to read something on the go and you don't have anything else, you can do that. There are some also magnifier apps. Most of them are crap, I think. Some of them are okay, but it's, that's the, the problem is the camera. They are not meant for that, so that's a, a bit of a limitation. So this comes into into play, uh, doing a much better job from that point of view. Of course, uh, beside that, the monocular that I already mentioned. But on the on something, about, uh, if if, it, if you are, we are talking about something far away, is it a screen in the station or in the airport? Is it uh, a bus coming, a train, or whatever? Then. The telephone can do a very, very big job. It's, you, can, you can probably do uh, more than what you think. So don't, don't under-evaluate that. Right, so I think this video came to be already longer than what I thought. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, also, because of my n n lack of experience uh, making videos, so of course it's not as well done as as it could be, but as a first thing, uh, basically I wanted just to share what I'm using and hope that it can be uh, useful for someone. Um, and if you have further questions or if you want me to go into small details about anything, just uh, leave a comment down below and, uh, and I will be very happy to answer. So yes, for now I can just say thank you for stopping by and have a very nice day.